way you're going. Um, so today, yeah, it's a big update and I haven't really planned this out so I'm just going to talk and hope for the best. Um, it's been a while since my last update with you all. Um, I haven't even done a blog since like maybe the mid of my prep for the shows I just did in October. So I'm sorry. It's been a bit hectic. Um, basically, I did a post on Facebook today, which some of you may or may not have seen, talking about um, whether I'm going to be competing at the Arnold Classic Australia. And unfortunately, I am not. And this is because I decided a couple of weeks ago, um, after getting some current test results back, that it wasn't worth putting my body through that again for my health. I need to work on me right now. I need to work on healing my body because I'm still facing hormonal issues, unfortunately, um, which I'll go into in a second. So I will still be there and I will announce all that um, closer to the expo, um, but unfortunately won't be competing. And I... It's really tough for me to, it was a big decision. It was a no brainer, but it was a big decision and I'll go into why. So I'll start with, and for those of you who don't know, I have been suffering like hormonal issues for a while and I thought I was pretty okay. And it turns out we're not, some things are good, some things are still not good. So yeah, it's time to take some time out. So basically, um, for those of you who don't know, I took a huge year off, like I was 15 kilos heavier than I am now, um, like a year ago. And I took time off to heal my metabolism because it was just screwed. Um, I was diagnosed with polycystic. I had hypothyroidism. I had adrenal fatigue really badly. And I was putting on weight like you wouldn't believe, eating like a really low calorie diet. Yeah, not cool. So I put all the hard work in over a year and I got my metabolism back on track, got my calories up and I thought I was ready. I thought I was ready to um, compete in these show, pro shows in October, which I just went to the US by the way. Um, and I was basically without a doctor. My doctor I was originally seeing stopped practicing, so I was in limbo. So I thought it was good and um, did prep really as healthily as possible, um, as slowly as possible. I did it over about four or five months and got down to almost comp condition. And I probably shouldn't have even done this round of shows, but I didn't know any better. I, thought I felt better and I had no doctor telling me otherwise because I was waiting to see a new specialist, um, which was a long wait. It was like months. And... Yes, yeah, so I went through this prep and it was probably the best prep I've ever done. Um, most amount of food, flexible amount of food, um, no binging, no cheats, um, no hours of cardio. It's awesome. Thanks, Lane. <laughs> um, but even I got to America and I was close to the shows and my body just wasn't responding. Like we were playing around with things. I wasn't killing myself. I wasn't wanting to kill myself just to get complaints. So I did go on stage twice, not quite in condition, but I had a wicked experience. So that's what it was about for me at the time. And, and I actually had lost 15 kilos just to get up there. So for me, that was absolutely, I'd achieved more than I thought. And that was amazing. Um, but the competitive part of me was like, just wanted to be in condition. Um, but I knew that something wasn't right and I knew that I, when I was coming home, I was booked in to see my new specialist um, that deals with athletes, by the way. Make sure if you ever see anyone, they need to deal with athletes because your levels are going to be different to the average Joe that sits behind a desk all day, okay? Um, got home and yeah, I had the most amazing experience in the US and like I just absolutely love the whole thing, love being on stage, love being new girls, like everything. Um I came home and yeah, it wasn't good. So basically I had all these new tests done. So I had um blood tests, 
specific for certain hormones that um, we wanted to look at. I had saliva tests to test my cortisol. Um, I had hair sample tests to test my um, mineral levels in my body. I had everything. Fun. Um, basically, everything came back. Some things were good. So the biggest positive for me is I actually don't have polycystic. Yay, that is huge. Um, but don't worry for all of you girls out there. I have researched the crap out of it and still want to give you some advice. But it is, it is easily misdiagnosed because certain symptoms are the same as um, other conditions. So if you don't know if you have it, so get a second opinion as well. That's really important, I've experienced. So turns out I have hypothalamic dysfunction. Let's hope we've got it this time. Um, basically, your hypothalamus talks to your pituitary gland and your pituitary gland controls a lot of hormone um, function in your body. Like your adrenals, your cortisol, your like... Um, what happens with your ovaries and all that kind of thing. So um, my hypothalamus, the communication between that and my pituitary is not good. So that's what hypothalamic dysfunction is. I'm pretty sure I'm not an expert yet. So a lot of reading to do still. Um, and that's something, if you get diagnosed with something, become your own expert. Don't trust some, someone else's word for it. Research. You want to know what's going on with you. So make sure you research. Um, and I'll update you more and I know more about it. Um, but I still also have adrenal fatigue. Awesome. <laughs> Basically, I'm exhausted all the time. And uh, the thought of doing another comp prep right now, I just I couldn't even deal. Um, even though I don't have much to, I only have to lose a couple of kilos. I just can't even like each day is tough um, for me at the moment and I need co a cup, few cups of coffee just to get me through the day. That's the reality of it right now. Um, and training some days like today, um, the thought of lifting a weight and going to the gym was like, no, nah. and I didn't go. I went and did some hill sprints, so I didn't do nothing um, outside in nature, but yeah. It's tough at the moment, I'm not going to lie, it's tough. And I work full time, so it's tough. So that's reality. Um, and my thyroid though is good. That was screwed before. Oh, I nearly said naughty word. That was screwed before and now it, it's spot on. So that's um, healed itself through some hormone replacement therapy I did in the past. And through reverse dieting and getting my metabolism on track, I think it's been awesome. Um, my estrogen, just to let you know what's going on. So my estrogen is like zero. My testosterone is like minimal. My progesterone is minimal. My DHEA is like minimal. A lot of things are minimal. And my body is not absorbing the nutrients from my food. No mineral. My minerals are all low. Um, so my it's not absorbing through my gut so my adrenals cause your gut function to be crap and it's all linked and intertwined so there's a lot of issues there and it all makes sense now because every time i've competed and got so lean i've actually i felt quite skinny and i'm just a good poser trust me um and even this time i was like wow my where's my butt gone and I just felt like I lost so much muscle in certain areas or I was really soft and couldn't get hard, couldn't get hard muscle and that's because I've had no testosterone. Even with girls we don't have high but testosterone levels naturally, but you know, you gotta have something there, build some muscles. So I'm actually like catabolic at the moment naturally and for me to build muscle and maintain it is tough. So um I don't even know how I have the muscle I have with the test results I got back doing okay, I think. So all these reasons, there's no way I can be competitive on stage as well with in the pro level. Like those girls are just insane. Um, so I'm best now to take time out to fix everything and it's all treatable. It's all good. I know exactly what's wrong 
and I'm working with this new doctor to treat it all and she's freaking insanely amazing. Um, so I'm still going to pursue my dream one day. It's still a dream and it's going to happen. But I'm going to focus on other things. So hopefully I'll be able to be right by... Um, Look, I don't know how long it's going to take, so that's the scary thing. You don't know. And you just have to go with it and be kind to your body. Be kind to yourself and say, it's okay. It's just a setback. Another one. Great. But, I mean, we all have setbacks and it just makes you stronger. And just because you can't do something you want to do right now doesn't mean you can't do it later. And then that leaves room for other things right now. I'm actually really excited to be working on a few other little projects that I'm hopefully going to launch next year. And that's pretty exciting. Um, still cranking it with my MuscleWorks team. Yeah. And um, a few exciting things happening already next year. So it was like a catch-22. I got this big blow and then got some wicked news with a few things. So it's still going to be a wicked year. I'm still excited. I just have to not get on stage, but I get to cheer on some of my closest friends and I get to still be at the Arnold and see you all. Um, that's going to be awesome. I'm just happy to be a part of it still. And yeah, reality checks happen. And I know as a lot of athletes or even people who just love going to the gym, train hard, I know you're so determined and you're determined and you're stubborn and you just have your eye on the prize and you have a goal and you just want to do it. But learn from me. Um, I'm the type of person that just push through anything. And, you know, with the genetic issues and whatever, um, I'm where I'm at now. So you need to listen to your body. End of story. Listen to your body. Um... I'm going to do another video on, hmm, I was going to talk about, like my process through the last prep, I think I will talk about that, um, a few other things, and I will update you on how I'm going, what kind of, what I'm doing in my training now that I have these issues, um, what I'm doing in my food, um, I'll get into it all nitty gritty, um, but just because I have I'm dealing with this it's okay and it doesn't mean I can't do I can't train still I can't do the things I want to do um, but it, it, I think everything happens for a reason and it's me time now and it's my time to focus on other things in life as well and getting a balance I think that's so important because I just feel like I haven't had that in so long and um, even just post-comp now, the process I've had has been awesome and um, the balance is awesome. And I feel good. I feel a bit normal, <laughs> which is nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to share that with you all. And I'm going to do some more videos for you all with some tips and things like that. So um, stay tuned and I will let you all know how I'm going. And again, thank you so much for the response to my Facebook post. You've all been way too sweet, but I'm okay. I'm okay with it and moving forward and hopefully I can help inspire some of you to you know if you've you know going through a bad time or you've had something bad not bad but you know have some setbacks that get you really down hopefully I can inspire, inspire you to move forward because even though I'm not putting my energy into like contest prep and what's next for me I want to focus all my energy in some other places right now which is awesome too um, because there's always something else you can do and you can work on. I'm going to stop rambling now. So thanks for listening. That's my update. And um, I will talk to you all soon.